big hello to you welcome back to another video i'm jennifer kirk and today we've come out to skipton in the yorkshire dales it's a really lovely place we have been here before but today our main focus is ellis clark trains and they've got their big show on they started this last year was the first year that they did this and it was so successful that ellis has put on a big spread again we've got the marquee we've got the showroom open as well and there's a hog roast later on and I'm really Really, really excited we've had a good trip on this old London bus to get here from the car park and having a great time looking through all of those layouts there's traders there's everything you can imagine so come with me and let's take a great look around and see what we can see today's video comes in association with Trainomatic makers of DCC decoders and accessories that are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts find the full range available to order now at Tramfabrique .co.uk. Additional support for today's video comes from All Mouse Media, publisher of books and graphics novels, which can be found at the link down below. Check them out today, including the amazing Stars books. <laughs> I'm joined here on the top deck of the bus, hanging with the cool kids. I've got Ellis here from Ellis Clark Trains. And this is the second year that you've been running this event. It is, and yeah. last year, coming out of lockdown, it might have been seen as quite a daring thing to do. What originally inspired you to put on an event like this? Yeah, originally it was because, um, obviously, a lot of events were getting cancelled uh, last year with COVID and weren't going ahead. Uh, we had a, a really big product announcement, which at the time was the Darstep Pullmans and we had a lot of samples to showcase and we just wanted we wanted to do a show and it within a it was a month's notice and I think um, I can't remember who it was in the office who said well what about doing something ourselves and then it just sort of grew and formed into this market and then it built up bigger than what we it was more an open day at first but then it just built into a mini mm -hmm. exhibition and it's like um you know it, what was it's not the biggest exhibition in the world by any means but it's just a nice feel good day and everyone yeah. enjoys it comes has a good chat you know it's, it's just a great day out really it's just yeah Absolutely, and uh, you've got a great turnout of people. I mean, there must yep. be around 300 plus yeah, people today. Yeah, I think there today. is today, yeah, 300 plus today. And you've put on the food, and there's a lot of great layouts. And yep. uh, who's in charge of picking the layouts? So that's Chris who um, works for us. Um, he's uh, He does all the layout 
choosing um and we, we tried to we tried to get everything to complement each other um layouts and traders alike so yeah and that's the other thing as well you've got uh, a lot of these smaller businesses as yep. well with their wares that complement the different yep. ranges exactly so yeah we know all of them really well We're really good mates with all of them i mean new for this year is pico and jim mcgowan mm -hmm. uh, from connoisseur models and again we, we you know i i, I invited jim because i've been a big fan of his kits his kit when i first did my first brass kit his he was the guy i went to and if anyone ever says I want to build a kit in brass. Most people say, go see Jim. And, you know, it's just so nice to talk to. He fits in with our ethos and things. And then Pico got in touch and said, would we be able to come and do a demo stand? And we're like, yeah, brilliant. Because, you know, again, it just all complements what we do, what they do. And it's, yeah, it's great. It's really good all around. And you've got the display cabinet there with all the different samples. And yep. the press flow cements, they've yep. come through and they've done really, really they well. Have. They're the yep. first model that I've ever reviewed that's actually got 10 out of 10s across the board. Yeah, they really yeah. did blow me away. Yeah. But then you've also got, I think the next model you said coming through will be the Wickham trolley. The Wickham, yep. And it, it's uh, in terms of the engineering of that, because it's yes. quite an open, yeah. quite a, a spindly little thing. It is. Actually making that work and making that functional, it's really interesting to see. Oh, it's been, um, it's been a nightmare. <laughs> We've got, I think, underneath the chassis, there's four separate PCBs interconnected with hairline wires which run in little grooves yeah, yeah. put out into the metal chassis and then a double-ended coilless motor as well sat in the middle and this is before you start adding a DCC chip and speaker which we're also offering as um, yeah, yeah, yeah. an option so we've just about got there um, we've now we've just got to the point where we've got eight pickups so two on each wheel at the back because yeah. it's such a small wheelbase um, and uh, the DCC sound is working it's taken us ages to get stabilized working all the PCBs all the lights everything working together and but yeah it's just about there now we get the final running sample in about a week or two and then uh, yeah, and, and, and that's the next one that's coming through. Yes, following that'll be the next one. Yeah, and I also saw actually in the showroom you've got some very intricate uh, assemblies of the black fibers. Yeah, well, and that really blew me away. Yeah. the level of detail, even yeah. in areas that you wouldn't necessarily be able yeah. to see. Exactly, and the tender as well. Um, for me, just seeing that that structure that you've got there, yeah. there's such an attention to detail. There and is. I suppose that comes back to the press flows that yeah. I couldn't fault them in any way. They were perfect. And is that very much your ethos then? It is. It is. We take oh, any product we do, we take right to the edge of what we can possibly get away with. It does mean you get there's a longer waiting time because the factory will do stuff some stuff won't work some stuff will because it's yeah. so fine so then we at the moment with the black five we've just got a new sample coming through in about a month we've we made about 100 revisions after the first sample because we tried so many different things and went right on the edge with everything and it's like the lubricators there's well there's six is um about uh 14 16 separately fitted brass bent lubricators going intricately along the footplate down underneath uh, yeah, the boiler yeah. and they're all separately fitted but you know they've all had to be engineered to go Absolutely. Up and that, that is a big job and you're not right. resting on your laurels you've just announced today yep. the sea lion and yep. the sea cows in yep. gauge as well so there's a really good steady uh, um, traction through yeah. of, of new models and it's really great to see yeah it's really good it's yeah yeah it's brilliant uh, and uh, one thing that did catch my eye actually in the cabinets you've got a whole load of um, trophies for for the, um, the things like the press flows yep. and the, um, the the coaches that you've specially commissioned but there's one in the middle the Costa Barisa <laughs> what is that about? <laughs> yeah that's a bit of a joke one really uh, before I uh, before I started Ellis Clark Trains I worked in Costa Coffee as a barista and I won <laughs> um, Barista of the Year for like our re region of the country sort of thing and I was meant to go to the nationals but I was on holiday but then uh, one of my personal hobbies and loves is coffee so um, that so everyone so that's why we always joke about the coffee we serve in the showroom and hence why we're so on it with the coffees and stuff we do here because uh, yeah that's just and that's that's why basically so and that's the only trophy I've ever worn in my life by the way so that's why my girlfriend Amy has about 30 karate um, football trophies and I've got my 
one Costa Coffee to <laughs> office up. But I mean, that's quite a jolt to go from uh, working as a barista in Costa to starting your own business, mm. uh, manufacturing and, and retailing uh, really, really great O gauge models. Yeah. I, I presume that that was always a hobby of yours in the background, the model railway side of things. Yeah, it was. It was. I always wanted to set up a business, didn't know what it had been. Um, my dad did, has always done model cars and dabbled in model trains and then it, uh, he offered me a desk in his office if I wanted to try something so I handed him a notice that day and then um, and then it just I started it and it snowballed from there really. Brilliant and look it's it's been an absolutely amazing day we've really enjoyed ourselves Fantastic. and thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out to sit on the top deck of the bus here with us and just talk a little bit through it. I noticed you've been really rushing around you take a very hands-on approach to the business Definitely. and it is so great to see and oh, thank is, you. is this going to be uh, a fixture on the calendar then for every single year? Yeah we don't want to we don't want to lose this now that, that was yeah. after last year I was inundated with emails and phone calls and I, like I said a little bit when I made a bit of a speech it's just it, it for me I love I love it costs us a lot of money I will not lie but we love being able to offer all the food cake and everything free in the travel but it's just such a it's for us it's the more the feel good aspect of it it's a bit of a it's yeah it's just a celebration really the hobby and just everyone like I say it's not the biggest exhibition by far and it, you know it's pushing it to call it an exhibition mm -hmm. but what people said last year was it was just it just had a feel-good atmosphere everyone enjoyed coming to chat and catching up with the friends have, having some lunch having some drinks and it was just a good day and that's uh, that's what we want from it and it's good to see brilliant well look thank you very much for chatting with no me problem. and i best let you get on because uh, <laughs> you, you're definitely buzzing around like a busy busy bee and it's certainly it's been a great day thank you so so much no worries thank you both thank you cheers really enjoyed today's video and that little look through the big big show that we've got going on here at Ellis Clark Trains and really really excited for those two new announcements so looking forward to seeing them come through and be available from the shop but a big thank you to Ellis for inviting us down here and I'm going to hop back on the bus and head for home. Today's video comes in association with Trainomatic makers of DCT decoders and accessories that are designed by enthusiasts for enthusiasts. Find the full range available to order now at tramfabrique.co.uk. Additional support for today's video comes from All Mouse Media, publisher of books and graphics novels, which can be found at the link down below. Check them out today, including the amazing Stars books. I'd like to send out a huge thanks to everybody who supports me on Patreon. And an extra special huge thanks goes out to Anthony Kidson, Offshaw Allen, Michael Lockie, Helen Sink, Gary Lewis, David Quinn, Sparky107107, George Botterini, Chris Moss, Robert Steers, Sam Yates, Dale Williams, John N. from NC, NYMRish, Jonathan Foster, Peter, Clifford Ison, 
Larry W. Grant, NI Railways 4000 Class, Ian Coulson, Alan Dickerson, Eddie Papair, Karen Nicholl, Medwin Williams, Crossways Point Junction, 3B Rail, and Jennifer Garrett. Thank you. Without you guys, I couldn't do this.